Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make basic, simple, fully edible wafer paper flour. And I'm going to use this regular wafer paper. This one is 0.22 millimeters and I will link it below. And to make my flour, I'm going to use this template. You can download this for free on my website. It's also link is in the description. And I'm tracing my template to my wafer paper using a regular pencil. For the demonstration purposes, you can use an edible marker or you can just stack a three up to three layers of wafer paper on top of your template and cut them together. To make this flour, I'm going to use four of the large petals and five of the smaller ones. So the smaller ones are going to be my inner row of petals and larger ones are going to be on the outside. To make my flower center, I'm going to use these Haribo berries. They are really tasty. And I'm going to use uh, this blackberry because I want my flower to look like an enemy. And I'm just sticking regular toothpick inside of my berry. No glue, no water, nothing needed. It sticks well on its own. To glue my petals, I'm going to use piping gel. Uh, if you don't have piping gel, you can use uh, corn syrup or even a little bit of water. But I prefer to use piping gel because it's thick and it makes working with wafer paper very, very easy. So you can see that wafer paper has two sides. Uh, I prefer to use on the bumpy side, uh, is my face side. And I'm just using my brush to curl petals outwards a little bit to give it some shape. You don't need to do this, but because wafer paper is so flat, I think using this simple technique to shape your petals is a nice way to add some movement to a flower. And for my larger petals, I'm going to use the same technique, but curl it on both sides, make it more like a rose petal or something like this to make the shape interesting. And now to shape and glue my petals, I'm going to apply just a little bit of piping gel on one side of my slit. You can see I'm applying only to one side and covering it up with the other side to make it shape like a spoon. So you can see my petal is not flat anymore. And I'm going to do this to all my petals, applying a little bit of piping gel only on one side and then stick it together, cup it and leave it on the side for a second. And now to arrange my petals and glue it to my center, to my berry, I'm going to apply just a touch of piping gel in the middle to my first row, all five petals. And I'm going to take my center, just poke it through the middle of my petal, like this. And because we applied a little bit of piping gel, wafer paper now is soft and pliable and it will stick to the bottom of the berry and it will hold itself very nicely on a toothpick. And now I'm going to add all five of my petals to my berry and arrange them in a semi-symmetrical shape. Make sure that you stick your wafer paper petals to previous petal and to your berry and it holds well on your toothpick. And you can play around, you can move your petals and make them look how you want them to look. You can leave it like this or I'm going to add uh, another layer to make it more dimensional. And for my larger petals I use the same technique. I applied a little bit of piping gel to one side 
and hold like place the, the other side on top of that and make make sure that both sides are stuck and my petals are cupped and to attach this row of petals to my flower i'm going to do the same just a touch of piping gel in the middle and i'm going to do the same to put my toothpick through both layers of my petal and arrange them on the flower and now you have it this is the easiest way to make a nice looking with a paper flower that is absolutely edible and safe to place on kids cakes and not to worry about using wires or non-edible materials thanks for watching